I mean, there, if you're if you're sitting in that office or you're on a Zoom with me and I'm delivering this value proposition to you and you're hearing it and you're 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 being asked questions and you're answering and we're engaging like that and you're thinking about the last two agents that you met with that ran out and opened a door for you. The crazy part is those agents. This is the part that every every real estate agent out there needs to hear. Those agents that jumped in the car, drove out, opened the door, and did the whole walk through and try to sell them while you're in the house thing. You actually did more work than what I'm doing through the consultation. You actually devalued your time because you weren't slowing down to give the value. You thought what the client wanted was to go and see a house, but what they really want is advocacy and consultation. And so I'm just turning around and saying, I'm going to give them what they really want. They just don't know it yet. Yeah, the other thing too, and, and I've had this happen where I, I tried to stand hard on them coming to my office and look at if they were an hour away, they really didn't have an interest. So, you know, just shy of going open the door, because I've done both. I've run to open the door and sometimes that worked, mostly not. Uh, mostly. What I found is that I set that appointment with them in the area that they are interested in. I at least know that. And we're going to set a time to meet in a coffee shop for 30 to 45 minutes before we go look at that house. I am going to get the console in. I'm not hardcore on making it come to the office. So I want everybody to hear that too. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a whole other class, isn't it though? Is like how to actually, how to book the consultation and, and not, be, not be divisive and not be argumentative and make sure that you, all, again, are in service, right? So my, my, I always played the, uh, the switch cost game with, with, with people when they would say, well, listen, man, I just really want to see the house. And I'm like, I, I actually really want to show it to you. I believe me, trust me. I, there's a, every ounce of my energy wants to go show you this house because I want to earn your business. But what I've learned is that it's better for both of us if we slow down and we take the time to figure out whether I can actually serve your needs. Cause what I, what I don't want to be is a door opener. What I do want to be is your professional real estate consultant. Now that's the difference. And if you only want me to be a door opener and that's all you're looking for, I probably can arrange to help you with that, but I just personally, that's not how I operate. And so it's just a whole different kinds of conversation. And a lot of agents are afraid to have it because they're, they're coming from scarcity and they recognize that, well, well, if I don't go give this person what they want right now, they're never going to hire me. And the answer is they're never going to hire you anyway.